Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a foundation, head to head, toe to toe, fight off. So who's going to win? We're going to do an all day, all wear, all the time, not all the time, test. So we're using the Revlon Color Stay. This is in color 200. It is on the right side of my face, left hand side of your screen. Or we're going to use the Urban Decay on the left side of my face, right side of your screen. So we're going to see how this holds up all day during my work day. Um, usually it's a 10 to 12 hour day. Um, so we're going to see how these do. Does the color stay come off? Does it spread? Does the Urban Decay hang tight? Who is the better one head to head? We're going to find out. So I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned. I'm going to prime using the Becca Backlighting Priming Filter. And we're going to use that on both sides. I still look horrible from being sick, which I always look horrible without makeup, but really bad. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to get started using um, the Revlon. This is a color stay. It is in color 200 Nude. And we're going to put that against the Urban Decay shade 3.25 so um, we're going to see how these two do against each other this is one of the suggestions my friend had um, when she was asking me about the drugstore versus the high end and I said you know I haven't done my favorite Revlon color stay against any other foundations so thank you for a great idea um, so that's what we're going to do today so the Revlon color stay is going to be on the right hand side, your left. Okay, and then we are going to use the Urban Decay. Let me get another little sponge. The colors are slightly off as you can see so we're going to try to blend down the middle as much as possible so I'm going to use the sharp tart shape tape we're going to go down the middle we'll use the flat end of this beauty blender Okay, Revlon on the right, Urban Decay on the left, and just a color difference. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting on the rest of my makeup, and um, then we are going to do a long-term review from today till the end of the day. I'm excited! Okay, it's the end of the workday, and as you can tell, my makeup has slid all over the place. But, um, so let's do a little bit of a review. Um, so, we, if you remember, because probably by the time I edit, it's only a few seconds ago, we had the Revlon Color Stay on the right-hand side, and we had the Urban Decay All Nighter on the left-hand side. And um, I didn't touch up during the day. This is the end of the work day. So um, let's see how we did. Basically on my chin, um, I must have rubbed it away from both sides. So equally both sides on my chin um, from messing with my chin today is off equally. Um, as far as... This side has, I don't know if you can see it, but this side has rubbed away on my nose. The color stay actually barely rubbed off right here on my nose. Um, 
overall, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be able to tell which one was which if I didn't know already what I put on. Um, again, I think the color stay stayed a little bit better. It didn't rub off on my nose on the right hand side like it did on the left hand side which I'm right handed so I don't know what I may have done over here um, but again the chin rubbed off equally everything else is about the same um, might have a little bit more shine and oil on the Urban Decay side than the Revlon Color Stay, but again it's minimal um, it's a minimal difference so I'm just impressed with the Revlon Color Stay for it to hold up against the Urban Decay All Nighter and the price difference. Um, I might be going back to Revlon Color Stay after this little test. So, um, ladies, Revlon Color Stay 24 hours did, in my opinion, beat Urban Decay. Price, it didn't rub off as much. Who knew? This is why these doing these tests is fun. So thank you so much for watching, and if you have any comments or questions or thoughts, please put them down in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a great one.